Right, well, we're out in the woods for this afternoon, or this afternoon, or that afternoon, and we're not doing the normal bushcrafty chopping wood, making the brew stuff, although I technically am about to put a brew on. Been down here with a new toy, been checking the camera, and uh, again, I've got a couple. Um, Young girl, glasses, bald chap with a beard, you know, just walking through as if it's their own. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, some woman in a blue dress just walked through. And a while before that was uh, two young lads, although sort of, the two lads were caught on a camera over there. But only one of them walked through here, walked straight into the tent. Um, didn't actually go in there, it was closed up. No one's actually gone in the tent, they just seem to be walking through. Despite signs saying camera, CCTV, you've all seen the signs. Um, tree felling, shooting in progress, private property, no public access. People still manage to wander through. So, we've brought this new beast with me today. And I'm recording on the new phone. And I've been taking some 360 pictures, which I'll put on Facebook. Um, yeah, I've got my night light, which only comes on at night. It's been here a while. Um, PIR seems to work fine. Now we've got this bad boy. Look at that. See, it's at head height, so someone could knock it off, but the camera's going to cover them if they do. Um, it's only supposed to work at night, but I had to cover the light sensor there. It's got a remote sensor on the other side. So you can set it up. The light comes on for 15 seconds. Um, or you can have the alarm for 15 seconds. Or both. And to set it, you push the button. That's for light. So every time you move, the light comes on. 80 looms. The range is fantastic. I've walked past it all the way over here. See, I'm um, good 15, 20 feet away. The light is on. Take a step to the right. <laughs> I walked through early and it was fine. There we go. Um, but yeah, if you push the alarm button, which the laser infrared on the remote is probably not as good as the PIR. The idea is to set it when I've gone. How close do you have to get to this damn thing? Pushing the button, pushing the button, pushing the button. There you go. Uh oh. So now I can't move. Ah. What do we do? What do we do? There we go. That goes for 15 seconds. I think it's set on light now. Actually, shut it up. Don't mind the light coming on when I'm down here. Um, so yeah, 120 decibels, um, 180 degree PIR facing sort of the most of the open part. Um, it's heat sensitive, so animals animals shouldn't set it off. If any foxes or badgers come through or birds or squirrels, it should be fine looking by the amount of movement. Okay, I only took a step there. So yeah, that should work well in conjunction with the camera. If it goes off, if this goes off, Catches people, then the alarm goes off. We'll get to see them running or jump out of their skin. That'd be great. Um, also got the laptop down here today. Because I want to go through the photos here. And uh, do some stuff. Oh, I forgot a can of Coke. And a packet of bacon frazzles. Oh, rashers, whatever they're called these days. Uh, so yeah, it's just a tech day today. I'm going to have a brew because I've been here a little while. I've done a couple of walks around. I've done the free... 360 photos, done a few of them. Um, this boils really quick, so I've got to keep an eye on it. Uh, yeah, it's all set up in the back now. I've got a gas, pasta, food, pots and pans in there, water there, car stuff in the middle, um, recovery gear, ratchet straps, gas mask, fire extinguisher, and the stove in the case just fits on that box there. Um, I've got baggers in the back seat, fine. And the spoiler is my little uh, shelf. Um, but yeah, I've got to get the sugar out of there. 
and that's nearly boiled turn that down a little bit still gonna have a fire though can't not have a fire but yeah that's a little test i'm aware that the phone on video goes all the time you've got sim cards in it you've got to push flight mode to shut it up so if you can hear that noise you used to get from hi-fi's when the phone went near it if you can hear that i apologize but uh, we should be in 1080p although i have to keep hitting the focus button so yeah i'm at my 300 subscribers now and there's so many buttons on the outside of the phone um, but yeah, we're at the 300 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers now. Um, so the prize draw thing, subscriber giveaway will be coming up very soon. Just haven't had a chance to do anything yet. Going at midnight last night worked. It's Sunday, so I work Saturday and Saturday night. That's boils. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a 3,000 subscriber giveaway in time. I've just got to pull a few things together. I'm busy at work. I'm busy at work, and I'm busy down here. Um, I've got to get camp security tightened up, and I think 100 decibel, 120 decibels of siren should uh, not want people to come back. So far, I don't recognise people, they've not been re-offending on the camera. Um, yeah, one lad, if you are watching, I've got your name and address, thanks to social media. Um, and I never normally put the pictures on, but I'm going to start circulating the pictures on my videos, because it's private property, I've got signs, so I'm allowed to up upload the photos. So they'll either be on this video or the next video. But yeah, I'm going to start uploading pictures of trespassers. I've only had three in a year and a half. Respectful people just walking through. They haven't touched anything in there. But the signs still say, at the main gate and in the woodlands, private property. Take note. So I get a lot of stick for this. Uh, there's been a Facebook group that gave me a lot of hassle saying... Oh, just because you own the land, you don't own nature. You can't stop people from coming down here. What right do you have? My words. Um, told someone I work 75 hours a week to pay for it. And they gave me a load of abuse back. Said about their kid with autism. Uh, they don't like people. Can't go to crowded places like public woodlands. So they have to go off the beaten track. I said, so do I. I said, I don't like people. Can't cope with uh, confrontation. So I had to buy my own woodland to get away from people. So what gives her the right? Anyway. Six and two threes, it's one argument of one and another argument of another. But some people do believe, even when it says private access, no public right away, no trespassing, people still believe they can just wander through. Fair enough, we've all done it, respectfully. But uh, that's just my uh, little argument. Enough people do wander through, I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it, but I've got you on camera and I will put your pictures up. <laughs> Only because if something does go missing or get broken, um, I want to be able to know who I'm going to be going for. Simple as that. Walk through, get caught on camera. It's fine. It's the signs. Not damage anything, steal anything. Then you're in trouble because you've been caught on camera. And uh, yeah, mainly just a bit of a laugh, really. Just want to see if I can scare some people with this. <laughs> and I'm going to get the comments now saying, oh, I shouldn't be talking about my camera and showing where my alarm is. It's there. It's at shoulder height. If you want to smash it up or nick it, fair enough. You'll be on camera. <laughs> Anyway, enough of that. I'm very excited. The new phone does total 360 degree photos. I need to get my coffee drunk, made and drunk. Um, get the laptop out, go through these properly because you can't see a lot on the screen that's in there. This is password protected too, so if anyone steals it, it's no good. It won't work. Um, yeah, you can use the memory card out of it, but uh, yeah, that, that'll just be no good to you. The other one had a remote, that one hasn't. This has got remotes that can stay in the car. I've got means of charging batteries, so every time I'm down here, I charge the batteries up for, for that. And um, I'll just, I've got two chargers, so I can charge the batteries for that. While I'm here, drinking my coffee. Right. Oh, and that bungee is what straps the camera to a tree. The strap it comes with is a pain in the ass. The trees are all different sizes. The bungee works well. Right, that's my waffle. Uh, I'm going to get on with some coffee duties. My coffee mate was a bit... Uh... A bit solid in the old... 
you know, tub. Uh... So after I put the lumpy bits in here, I shook that out of it and it's loosened it all up again. Uh, looks like it's all dissolved though. Yeah. Real good. All right, sit down. Upload some 365s. I think I've got four, maybe five. From various locations down here. I can stay there because every time I put it on there, I'll sit on the chair and it wobble, knock it off. Yeah, I took a picture down there by the bridge, took a picture over there, took one here, took one over there. Yeah, four. Right. I'm loving this car set up now. Oh yeah, got the drone, got the drone down today. Uh, all the batteries are on charge down here. It looks like they're all charged. Um, formatted the memory card before I came out. It's only a cheap and cheerful drone. Takes terrible photos and videos. But there's no wind at the moment, so I want to try and get some shots off the tent. Might have a play with that while I sat here, because that's not a standing up thing. I can sit down and do that. Weird not sitting in there. But it's quiet down here. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's a proper techie one today. Um, got the laptop plugged into the inverter. Running off the solar box. Waiting for that to power up. Still got my coffee to drink. Just had a little sip. Yeah, excellent little drone. Uh, it's It's got no GPS, no satellite stuff. It's um, the lowest budget, crappiest drone you can buy. Little Aldi. Got it in um, Monmouth when we were at Camp Shaky about two years ago. Last year, two years ago, oh, I don't know. Flew it around there, flew it around inside the tent when we got the tent, because we bought that out while we were over there too. And um, yeah, I'm just powering up the laptop to see, because I had the camera facing right down. I had the camera on it going down, trying to get some aerial shots. And now I've just pointed the camera up. Um, got to put another battery in, because that battery's dead. Luckily I've got four. Uh, but I did stupidly, well, I've got the opening over there. I flew it right up there, that's what damaged it last time, is uh, the wind above the trees is stronger than what's in the trees. So there's no wind here. Flew it up high above the trees and the wind took it last time. Um, but I managed to get it down and today there was no wind, so I went right up there. That's what I decided to land it, because the batteries is about seven minutes of flight. Um, gonna put another battery in it, check the footage that's on there, and then I'm gonna try and fly it up again with the camera facing forward and try and fly it from here. Well, the first clips, if I upload them, a bit sketchy. It's very temperamental. It doesn't self hover or level or anything like that. It's constantly drifting in different directions, even when you tear it. So I'm gonna try and fly it around here some more. I've just had a bit of a fly around here, but I'm gonna check that. Now the laptop's on. It's the slowest laptop in the world. Uh, 1.9 gig processor with three gig of RAM. <laughs> And the crappiest drone ever, but uh, oh, and, and a crappy, crappy four wheel drive. Look at the state of that desktop, no wonder it runs slow. Right, quick drink of the old coffee, and then um, stand here and check the footage. Right, well, the camera works. Um, the only problem is I can't fly high enough to zoom out enough. And I can't see what I'm videoing because it hasn't got goggles and that Wi-Fi malarkey. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll try that again, but go higher. No, I tried to get the car as well. I don't know if any of this is actually getting picked up. That's where I flew really high. Car. I wanted to get an aerial shot of the car. Just makes making the radio in the front of the car go a bit mental. Just put this on scan, so that must be picking up the inverter. Hmm. 
me checking the angle of the camera. Yeah. I haven't flown this drone for like a year or so. <laughs> I've got some work to do. Right, let's swap the batteries over. Get the, get the uh, memory card back in. I wasn't going to drink this, but I need it now. Right. I'm just annoyed that I didn't save the, from the memory card on the drone. Um, the three or four times I checked it, done two flights, checked it, two flights, checked it. About the third or fourth flight, I went right above the trees in the opening, and I twisted left and right, flew back. When I checked it, you can see right to the horizon. I got above the tree line. So, my first time saw the horizon, didn't physically see it, a bit worried about the breeze above the trees catching it, so I brought it back, and then um, when I saw I could see the horizon, I thought I got there, done my pan left and right, video would have been amazing, and then the drone started drifting off, I could feel a breeze hitting me in the face, I was like, oh no, 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 so I thought, stop, bring it down, low, while holding back, bear in mind I've got no, no home button, no GPS, I'm sweating, I'm covered in twigs and fucking cobwebs. Uh, so it goes in a straight line across the woods. So I'm holding back and up to give it altitude so it doesn't catch the branches. So I start running, I stop, I can still hear it, it's going in a straight line. So I'm holding up and back. I'd rather lose reception if it's going too high because I think it just drops down again. So my, my concerns were keeping it above the trees. I can still hear it going off. So I run, 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 stop, keep running. And I got halfway through the woods, it was getting denser. I got it's 55 acres here, and the middle of it is untouched and heavily overgrown. I was gonna break an ankle, there's rabbit um, mole hills, there's badger dens, fox dens, fallen trees, trees growing close together. Um it's really dense up in the middle. So after about five minutes of running through these trees. I thought, sod it, I'll just have to bring it down and hope I can hear where it lands. It's, so far it's flown in a straight line where the winds just took it. Um, hold down, back down, just trying to bring it down anywhere. And all I could hear was, it, is it constantly going off? That must have been out of range. Um, uh, so, bear in mind, I'm in the middle of 50 odd acres. I'd already run most of the way. So I went out to the field, which is the direction it was going in. Couldn't see it. Didn't have a big walk around. Walked back. Um, all the time I was coming back, I was trying to pair it. I turned the controller off, turned it on, and then it flashes if it's in range and you can pair it with a device. But, um, wherever that drone is, it's either gone past the fields, over the farm, and right now it's probably heading towards Dover. Or it's in a tree somewhere, but I didn't hear it come down. Um, so it's either in the field or gone past the field. But I did get some really good footage, but it's still in the drone. So, uh, yeah, I have fully charged battery, two flat batteries, a controller. See? It goes green where it finds something and then you go up and down to pair it. It's a shame I didn't forget to put the memory card in it, wasn't it? A couple of times I've done that in the past, I forgot to put memory card in it. Oh well, never mind. I can, uh... oh, I better drink that because I'm dying first. I've literally just uploaded to Facebook, um, having a good day out, flying a drone, installing the alarm, checking the uh, CCTV camera. I've done two of them. <laughs> At least I've had fun flying the drone. The main thing is I had fun. And even when I was flat out running through the woods, I was um, sort of laughing, going, oh my god, this is mental. I've lost the drone, I just knew it. Um, I do random walks now and then. I do like having a little wander around and sightseeing. So I might come across it in the future. 
but I reckon it's either up a tree or it's still going now. Because once you set the altitude, it goes to a certain height and stays there. Like I said, it does drift a little bit because you can't tame the fucking thing. Um, so when it lost signal with the controller, it might have stayed at an altitude and the wind, like a balloon. <laughs> so it could be anywhere between here and, well, I don't know, seven minute flight time. It must have been flying it for about three minutes, so probably only about four or five minutes left. Um, and it was going faster than I can run. <laughs> so I reckon it's within three and 12 mile in that direction. Right, I'm going to um, put the inverter back on. So that box it makes a horrible humming sound, um, which I'm not really bothered about. And then I'm going to get get the laptop back on. Look at my hair, these cars, I'm sweating, so it's all wafty. And uh, at least I can check the camera. I hasn't flown away. I'm going to get the card out of this. Um, back up all the pictures, format the card, get the batteries on charge, and I can get that back up before I go home. But apart from all the all that fun and antics a shame it wasn't on camera to be fair it is a shame i've been flying that around about 20 odd minutes today gone through two and a half batteries flying it all through here i flew it up there's it that tree there threw up that tree got some really good footage close up of that tree threw it up there in that opening threw it straight up there threw it around been flying it all around down these woods really high flying up here i've got the footage of the car footage of the tent so, never mind, I'll just chop that bit out of the video and we'll never know. Right, we'll just quickly have a little look at these pictures I've got in the past. Um, this is from my neighbour's camera, not mine. Lad on the right there with a cowboy hat, or bushcraft hat, lad on the right. And then an hour later, this is back when I had the caravan, there he is. I got his name and his address. So. Thanks to social media for solving that crime. Um, his mate didn't wander through the plot, but he did. And then I've got to start naming all these folders. Um, oh, yeah, there'll be a video of him walking, but don't worry about that. And just the woman with the blue dress. Yeah. Women in the blue dress didn't walk on to the into the woods, just walked out. So, if anyone recognizes the wellies or the bag, it's carrying like a folding camping chair. So, never trespasser or walk in past signs that say um, no entry, private woods, do not enter. And I actually named today's folder drone lost. It's the weekend I lost the drone. Right, so these are all blah 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 blah. These are photos and videos the camera takes. Very good for battery. 12.2, we're good. It's quite handy, but you have to bring the laptop down here. The battery's knackered in the laptop, so I can only run it off the mains. As are all good laptops. So there's a couple hundred pictures here in the past week or two. They're all time stamped and date stamped. Uh, here we go. Two more. No idea who these are. Don't know who these are. I think she spots the camera on that one. Yeah, I don't know who they are. But they seem to like walking past. Um, signs that say no entry so on let's see if we can zoom in this is actual quality oh i think he might even be looking at the camera there i think i wonder what they're going to be doing there um got them walking out as well let's have a look at our ugly mutt close up I think he looked at the camera. I'm sure she's looking at it now. No, she was looking very close to it. 
so I wonder what they're doing in the woods dirty little bastards and that's them coming back out Look. a bit later on so in that time on that one like they came in at half past two in the afternoon and then they they left Oh, just a few minutes later. I actually walked through, saw the bridge and then walked out again. And my na other neighbours were in earlier, they were on camera, but I won't show my other neighbours. Did I get them on video? That is the question. Because it takes, uh, I think, three pictures and then video, or video and three pictures. Nope, they're not on that video. So, they're either on the one before it, or the one after it. This is what my, my night, my evening entails when I go home. I normally take the memory card, I swap, swap the memory cards over while I'm here. And then take the memory card home and go through it. But today we're doing it on camera. Oh, ah, crap, I keep... I normally use a mouse at home. <laughs> Touchpads do my head. Right. So it didn't, let's see if it's got video on this one, there we go, we should have audio too. <laughs> Get a tap on mid-use. Uh. Uh, we just can't hear him when he's pointing at the tent. Can't hear for the inverter. Hey, look, we're trespassing. Look at us. She's like lagging. Oh, my feet are tired. He look, look, there goes a tent. Hey, let's stop and look at the tent. Hey, she's like, my feet are aching. I'm wearing unpractical shoes. So they keep walking away to do more trespassing some us. So yeah, on the plus side, I didn't do anything. Um, so I was respectful of her not doing anything. She just walked on, walked in and walked out. Um, but yeah, it's the wildlife mania. I want to see if I've got any wildlife. Keep the camera rolling. Something's moving there. Oh, it looks like a fox. Yep, yeah, fox. It's hard to see. Uh, yeah, one o'clock in the morning. Oh, loads of eyes. So this. Oh, something there flying. A bird. Oh, there's my neighbours. We'll just let my neighbours go by. Me pulling up, setting the camera away. Right, so this is just after I last left the camera. Squirrels, I get hundreds and hundreds of squirrels. And uh, rabbits about five in the morning. I've got a badger, I've got a buzzard the other week. Just going through them all, just squirrels. Sick of squirrels to be fair. Squirrels and rabbits, that's all I get. Oh, I did get that woodpecker a while ago though. Oh, there's a squirrel run right up tree. Blackbird there. Same place as the buzzard. Squirrels, squirrels, squirrels. Oh, night time. Yeah, look, fox there, you see him. No people, just fucking squirrels. And the people again. Grrr, bad trespassers. So yeah, that's quite actually convenient that is. Um, let's turn this off now because you don't need it. Save some power. Um, I can turn the inverter off. I do need a DC to DC supply for it. I'm watching one on eBay. Uh, never really had the need for one, but now I'm gonna start bringing the laptop down here. They're eight pounds fifty, I might just buy one. Um, so yeah, that's quite convenient having the car in this configuration today. Uh, I could check the drone footage, but we won't talk about that anymore. Um, I can check the CCTV nature cam. I can back the photos up here instead of risking losing me the memory card going home. Um, uh, accidents do happen apparently. Um, the shelf is great for a brew station. Bug out bags straight on the floor. Yeah configuration there works really well 
So far I'm chuffed with this. I had a little test with it earlier on. Um, I've disconnected the battery now because there's no on and off. It just goes mental or mental. So yeah, I've just disconnected the battery to shut it up. And so I don't kill the batteries with the light coming on every five minutes. So when I go, I can push that battery in, close it up, and then set the alarm with the remote and go home. Um, so that seems to be working fine. It gets me anytime I come anywhere, like in this circle here, anywhere from that tree or that tree. And I presume the same there, but I didn't test it because someone parked a car on the way. Um, so yeah, CCTV works fine. Gonna get another camera down here, two cameras maybe, because we've got a couple of cameras scattered around down here. There's like three or four cameras in various places, but it would be nice to get more. Uh, <coughs> I'm still knackered from my slight jog. So many buttons on this phone. It's like nearly impossible to hold it without launching something. I ate my bacon frazzles before uh, the drone got blown away. So that gave me the energy to sprint for the woods. But now my sugar's dropped a bit low because uh, I've had a bit of a jog, a bit of a sweat. So I, don't know, I might make a brew, might have some food. There's not much more I want to do down here. I don't really want to do any work today because I end up giving myself a bad back and then being knackered tomorrow for work all week. Been suffering for two weeks with a bad back from building that dam. I need to clean out the uh, water filtration system. Actually, I was going to fill that up. I might fill that up. I might get a bucket and fill that up just to flush it through. Um, RIP drone. Not much more to say, really. Yeah. Oh, I'm still trying to upload for two hours. I've been trying to upload the 360 photos. Um, got 3G down here, 4G, but it's just taking like. Yeah, nearly two hours so far. I've dropped my four 360 pictures. I don't know how big the files are. I'll check that when I get home on the laptop because I haven't. Can't be asked to do it now. Um, but yeah, I presume 360 photos are quite big. I think normal pictures are about three and a half megabytes, four megabytes. Don't know. But yeah, so we're through the drone. Took it up there. We've got a big opening. A couple of times flew up there, turned it round, had a bit of a looky. And then all of a sudden, the wind. I faced the car, the wind just took it straight down there. Hell, I know, it could still be going. Right, I'm gonna stand up here where I get a better signal and see if I can upload those photos. And then go and sit down. A little bit productive uh, for a very, very long time. I've been wanting to move my LED bar light from down here. Um, just doesn't illuminate as much as it could being so low you get nasty shadows and all the bumps and if you're going over mounds you just can't see what's in front of the next mound in the dark so it's kind of pointless having high powered LED light so low so by moving up the highest point you can get it means the spotlights can go further and the floods can illuminate more so it's on the top now. Been a bit of jiggery. I don't know why I started the engine. This thing pulls like no amps. Um, yeah, got it on there. I've got to hide the cable. Um, for testing, I've just got it gone to the cigarette layer. Um, I had it wired into my full beam. No, my floodlight there. Fogs. You got headlights. Main beam, full beam, yeah. So I wired it to my full beam. So they only came on when I put my full beam on. But now I want to wire them up to them spotlights. These aren't really great. The standard ones. I'm going to wire them up to them. Because they come on. If you turn them on, your headlights have to be on low, dipped. So when they're on dipped, you can turn these on. Because these have got no power until these are on dipped. So then they will come on with that. And the idea of it being higher... So on a slight angle facing down, only slight, I can't get it any better than that. Um, so I fabricate some brackets for it, I suppose. And I won't know until it's completely dark. Um, got a notification there from Bug Out Vehicles UK. Let's read that while I'm on, while I'm videoing. 
I don't read it. And now I can't open Facebook while recording. Um, yeah, literally a lot of 360 picture earlier, and there was a square here. Google must have picked up a, something that looked like a face and blurred out like a square. Because um, there's nothing there that needs blurred out for Google, but they've blurred something out. But it did look like it was a face on one of the trees. So, uh, yeah, someone's just commented saying uh, there's a bit of a, a blur. But yeah, that's, that should be so much more sufficient. It's getting dark here. I don't want to put that on because I'm going to lose my night vision. But that's so much better at the top. It is only, I think it's a 75 watt. Um, the centre cluster, centre 12 are spots. And these ones and those ones are flood. So flood on the outside. And they illuminate so well. It's such a good light. It was dirt cheap off eBay years ago. I had it on my Peugeot partner on this. Right, I want to relocate my amber strobes. They do work best high up, but I don't even know if I want my amber strobes on anymore. So I might lose this bar. I don't need it. It's just handy for pushing sort of like um, thistles, anything like that over there. Really tall, strong weeds. It's handy for that. But I uh, don't know. We'll worry about that another time. The main thing is I've got the light up there. It's temporary wired in. Before it gets completely dark, I want to tidy up because um, I've got stuff all over the roof, nuts and bolts, leftovers. I was even going to try and jubilee clip it on there. It is temporary on the roof of cable ties, as are all good things on cars, like bodywork and panels and stuff. So, yeah, as soon as I've uh, got some more brackets fabricated, uh, I've got to hide the cable, I've got to waterproof that. And then, yeah. Oh well, tough. Didn't want to do that for ages. The bolts came off straight away. I sprayed them and then turned them, and they came straight off. Got stuff all over the seat. Got screwdrivers, like a knife, torch. Because uh, yeah, I've been trying to find stuff in the car. And it's been a bit dark. Well, let's get all the lights on. Let's turn them on. Turn them on. Looks weird, but it works. That's the main thing. And I've got a reflection on the bonnet and a reflection on the roof. Not that you can see the one on the roof. Sweet, I've all lit up. Ingenious. I've got it now facing forward, 90 degrees, or upright. Brilliant. It's on there nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and we are running out of daylight, like big time, but luckily. I've only got whatever's on the roof to put away. Bits and pieces, some rubbish to take home. And just that. Didn't really spread myself out, just used the bug out bag. Um, that light keeps coming on now because I'm moving. Oh, I've got the new one, which should should just be a siren. I'm not going to use the light on it, I'm just going to use the siren. Already got a light. Um, camera's ready to go. I did put the batteries on charge for a little bit, but I think they're charged now. Yeah, they're charged. So they can go back in the camera. Camera memory card's formatted. Ready for the batteries to go back in. And there, get in there. Oh, hard work that was, getting that light on. <laughs> it's brilliant though. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Yeah. Oh, that's much better now. It's on that sort of angle. Oh, I can't wait for it to get dark. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for it to get dark. I was going to go soon, but I might wait a couple of hours just to uh, try that light out. Right, that's the uh, camera put back up on a tree. Leads and laptop and everything on the passenger seat. Right. Now I've got to do check to make sure nothing's left on the roof. Uh, nope, just a solar panel. The light. It's good. Right, to stop this from going. Ah, uh, I was going to reverse down to the new light. Uh, alarm, sorry. Put the batteries in, get in the car, 
push the remote and drive off. But if it makes a noise, it makes a noise. Yeah, that thing looks cool. Right. It's definitely going to go off before I get to the car. It's dark. Alarm's activated. Why hasn't it gone off? Do you get like 15 seconds before it's armed? Hmm. Why is it not working? I definitely pushed the alarm button. Oh, I don't know. I think you get a few seconds before it goes off. Right. No, it's definitely working. <laughs> you didn't even get back to the car. Should stop after 20 seconds, I think it is. 15 seconds. God, that's loud. Right. Oh, God, that's so bright. <sighs> Got to remember to get some fuel on the way home. Wow, that is so much brighter. Yeah, I don't get that nasty shadow. I mean, everything up there is a light. Um, turn it off. So in normal headlights. Main beam. That's definitely brighter. You can hear the ignition turn on and off. That's activating the uh, the roof light. That is my main beams on. Now let's put the little bumper spotlights on. Oh no, they are on. Well, that's every standard light on the car. And that's the roof light. Wow. Right, catch you on the next video. I'm gonna go for a drive for the woods. Wow. That's pure bright. That's that's crazy. Alright, them orange ones at the bottom of the bumper are just orange and dull. My headlights are on side light at the moment, just five watt side lights. That's like broad daylight. <laughs>